Hi, hi. Uh, well, Jared Kushner should not feel too badly about being downgraded in his clearance for the White House. I've been downgraded for my clearance in my family ever since I exposed my daughter, who was growing medical marijuana, as not being very medical in uh, California. <laughs> it, uh, you know, they, they kind of uh, like Al Pacino says in The Godfather, they push you out, then they bring you in. <laughs> You can never leave. You can't leave. Now, Jerry Kushner, what happened to him? Well, here's what happened. You know, the guy owes a billion dollars or more with a building that his family owns. And if they don't pay the, the loan in May uh, when it's due, that may bankrupt the family. And they, so he's got privilege in the White House, and they know that they can play him. You know, China and Russia certainly is playing the president. Uh, so now you got that intrigue. That's what that's what's wrong. But what's really wrong, more than anything in the world, is the price of beer. <laughs> the people who voted for Trump are essentially a shot in a beer guys, you know, from Wisconsin and Ohio. I'm from Buffalo. You know, we were a shot in a beer town. That's what we did. That's the reason we have chicken wings is because in New York State, you have to have food on the bar in order to serve booze. And Sunday was a blue law day in Canada and being right across from Canada as Detroit is and also in on the West Coast, you know, to come from Canada to the U.S. on Sunday, there is no booze sold in Canada and no shopping allowed. Those are blue laws. So they would come to the United States and drink. And we had to have food on the counter to, from the uh, State Liquor Authority in order to sell booze. So we put the worst thing you could possibly put out there, the wings of a chicken. It's like pigeon beaks, you know. <laughs> and we dip the little celery, which is the cheapest vegetable, and you put it in rougher dressing, which is undeniably uh, mysterious, and the turkey's red hot sauce. And that's, that's how chicken wings began. They began because they were cheap <laughs> and on the bar, and Canadians uh, gave us that economy. Now the Canadians are mad because we want to, we want to, we want them to pay for the imported steel and the and the uh, uh, aluminum, which is what they are producing as a country. And what's going to happen? Here's here's what it is: aluminum being tariffed by this president, who no one wanted him to do this in his cabinet. Uh, now that he's got that done, what's going to happen is the beer cans are going to be uh, their aluminum. 20% more. So the beer drinkers who voted for him are going to get the royal order of the purple screw. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> you still love Trump? <laughs> hey, this Bud's for you. <laughs> uh, it's the same thing that this butts for you is what <laughs> sticks in, in your face. The uh, same thing happened with my daughter. You know, this Bud's for you? She, <laughs> same thing, <laughs> the marijuana. Uh, <clears throat> we're in a culture of change. And nobody's ever lived through anything like this before. We had never had anything like this. Uh, even Khrushchev, that was only one incident with the missiles that he was tempting, tempting us with. And uh, uh, we, we, we had also, World War II was, I mean, that was real. That was real. We had to get rid of that, that jaboni. And, you know, you got, you got people now who are on the, on the planet that don't understand how the government works. The government works on payoffs. Uh, even the senator we got here in, in Florida, this, uh, who is it, Rubio, is that his name? Uh, you know, you got to go home after one term. That's a, George Washington knew that. You go home. It, you've done your job. It, it, it should be a volunteer job. But, you know, you got complete retirement benefits and health benefits the rest of your life. Go home. Enjoy yourself. You, you know, the, the guy who left the government the best of anybody I ever met was Agnew because he got caught when he was, a, he was Nixon's vice president, and he's from Maryland, and he says, oh yeah, you're right, and he went home. And so nobody could find any fault with him he, because he resigned, and he didn't have to go through any of the, any of the terrible uh, uh, trials and tribulations. He just went home. He said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> we haven't heard from him since. <laughs> this is a, a really un, unbelievable time in history. It really, I mean, it's got, you know, there's comedy tonight, a funny thing happened on the way to the White House. That's what the play ought to be called. <laughs> Come on. And I'm here to report the news. And you know what? I get the least hits on the on, of, of anybody and because I'm under the radar. And I can say all these things 
and not have to worry about taking phone calls, arguing about program directors and radio stations that, uh, that are doing poorly anyway, or being on one of the two networks that aggravate the hell out of everybody because they don't have any content. And I, I'm, just, I'm just a guy that's really, it's, it's, I call myself the late Joey Reynolds. <laughs> not, cause, please pretend that I died and I didn't say any of this, but you, but you become the best informed person in the world because you heard the truth and it shall set you free. You've heard that before, haven't you? I think so. Anyway, let a smile be your umbrella and don't get a mouthful of rain.